Hello everyone, Blue here with another exciting video talking about console paladins. Today we dive a little into the free agent pool for the upcoming 2019 PCL season. Now first off, the new season will work similar to the first. We're starting February 2nd. Teams will compete in an open bracket format to earn their spot into the actual league. Afterwards, those who made the league will then compete in a 26-week season instead of six, with mid-season relegations between the two 13-week splits. So after HRX at DreamHack Atlanta, where we saw the PS4 North American team elevate, become the current champions, a lot has happened. Teams have broken up, made roster changes, and even old players have returned with the hopes of becoming the best once again. Of the four teams that went to HRX, Onslaught and Vex have both confirmed that they have broken up and will be looking for new opportunities. NARC has retired. Flashpoint is looking to make roster adjustments, supposedly. And Elevate could be staying together or could be disbanding. But in this video, we're going to talk about Onslaught, who will provide this offseason's top two free agents on the market with Skeppy and Wonderful. Both players have been to each and every single console LAN available, being against each other only once during those. So let's compare the players head to head. Now Skeppy had the better PCL stats from what we see, but that doesn't tell the entire story. We see him play damage 100% of the time, as to Wonderful, who we have seen him flex from damage to front lines. Looking at their LAN resume, however, you can see that during HRX in January, Skeppy played on the PS4 team Blight, which lost to Wonderful's Elevate team in the finals, giving Skeppy one less LAN win than Wonderful. Skeppy also has one MVP as to Wonderful's two. Enough of that, however, let's talk about where they could end up and if they could end up on the same team again. Skeppy has more, and in my opinion, better options because as he has in the past, can play on PS4. As to Wonderful, who has always competed on Xbox and has publicly said, will never play on PS4. Rumors have been going around that Elevate is breaking up to form a new super team on Xbox, consisting of Shu, Skeppy, Wonderful, Kyle Conrad, and Woosh. But when I hear this, I immediately ask, what about Sir James Parker? This also leaves GR left outside in the cold as well. This is something I think could happen, but will not. GR and Parker are just too good to leave, especially when PS4 NA is one of the least competitive scenes and you just won the HRX Finals. There is also rumors that a super team could consist of Shu, Skeppy, Kyle Conrad, Sir James Parker, and Woosh, meaning that Elevate would replace GR with Skeppy. Now this is something I can actually see happening and wouldn't be surprised if it did. It would be an upgrade, although not by a huge amount. Skeppy is the best DPS on console, but GR has two HRX championships and has made each LAN he has played for at this point. The question after this would be, what would Wonderful do? If that Elevate roster were to compete on PS4, then they would be the favorites at winning the LAN spot there again. Wonderful wouldn't switch to PS4 because of this and would never agree to be the sixth man for them either. So looking at his Xbox options now, there aren't many. He has apparently stated that he will never team with Tilt Time or Trenzic after the horrendous display during the HRX Xbox Finals versus Vex. And now, the best option to win Xbox at North America this early in the offseason? Predictions is last PCL's runner-up, Kirsty's Hands, who have left Team Cryptic, restoring their old name, regained Bishop as a flex, lost Dovakin and Soldierbot, and have acquired the DPS Regan. So who is left to make a team with Wonderful and Xbox? The short answer, no one. Wonderful time after time has made land with the Xbox teams and is a picky player when it comes to teaming with people. If you aren't good in his eyes, then he'll never team with you. He has left rosters to join other rosters because he thinks they're better, and he simply gets what he wants. He's the LeBron of Paladins, arguably the best player in the world, and makes you trade, drop, and add whoever he wants and leaves your team with nothing left after he's finished with it. He's a top player in the world, and I have nothing but respect for him. But I feel if he doesn't switch to PS4 or join one of the super teams, he could be left watching the next land from his house for the first time. Next, there is Miracle, who according to rumored sources will be moving to PS4 with Trenzic and Coolmat following. Also joining this team is Xbox transfers Dovakin and Soldierbot. Now Soldierbot we have seen on PS4 before when he played for Blight during HRX Finals in January. If this were to happen, then they would instantly become a top two team in the PS4 North American region, and number one if Elevate were to return to Xbox or split up. 
I don't see Elevate doing either of those, nor do I see this roster beating Elevate. So it would be tough for them to make the next land this way. If this team were to stay on Xbox, I could see them giving Kirstie's hands a run for their money, but there is also the potential of Wonderful making a team that could be fighting for number one as well. Of these three remaining players, I think it'll be tough for them moving forward. Miracle is a top support on console, but has only really had success with Onslaught and the Fable teams he has led, and hasn't been on many bad teams on the big stage to really showcase his individual play. Trenzik was once a rookie, making too many mistakes, to now a top frontline, but has lost some stock value due to his performance at HRX. And then there's Cool Matt, who is a top DPS but has, was replaced by Hilltime at HRX due to his lack of flexibility towards the end and didn't play. All in all, I think Skeppy has better options and is the most likely to be at the next LAN because of his stock value and the fact that he is willing to play on either console and has shown success on both consoles in the past. That sums it up for the first Free Agents video and there will be more to come so make sure to subscribe to get notifications on the next one where I'll be breaking down the top players from Vexed splitting up.